Embracing inclusivity. Using non-binary language in forms and surveys. Hello, learners. In today's English language learning session, we're focusing on a crucial topic within our series on nouns and pronouns gender, gender neutral language. We'll be diving into the important aspect of inclusive language and specifically, how to use non-binary language in forms and surveys. This will help us create a more inclusive and respectful environment for everyone, irrespective of their gender identity. To start with, let's understand what non-binary language is. Non-binary language is a way of communicating that does not classify people strictly as male or female. This can be particularly useful when we're addressing or referring to people who identify outside the gender binary. Now, in the context of forms and surveys, this means giving respondents more options beyond just male and female when asking about their gender. Now that we understand the concept, let's see how to put it into practice. When designing forms and surveys, you can provide a wide range of choices for gender, such as male, female, non-binary, prefer not to say. It's also a good practice to provide an open-ended option like self-describe for respondents to fill in their preferred gender identity. Incorporating non-binary language into your forms and surveys is not just about being politically correct. It's about respecting individual identities and promoting inclusivity. By using non-binary language, we can contribute to creating a society where everyone feels seen, respected, and valued for who they are. That wraps up our session on using non-binary language in forms and surveys. Remember, language is a powerful tool, and by adjusting our language to be more inclusive, we can help ensure that everyone feels acknowledged and respected. Thank you for joining today's session. Keep learning and keep embracing inclusivity. In our next video, we will continue to explore more about the use of gender neutral and inclusive language in different contexts. Until then, keep practicing and stay curious.